Hey Colts, welcome to Tips for Using Google Sites. Google Sites are great for saving and sharing your best schoolwork in a digital portfolio. But you might also like to make a Google Site for your own interests, maybe a hobby or activity that you enjoy. You and your friends can even collaborate on a site from your own homes. As with all Google Apps, just go to the Waffle and then to your Drive, and then click on New, More, and Google Sites. Title your site in the upper left. This will be the name of the file that will save in your drive. Now decide on a title for your home page. That is what people will see when they go to your site. Now choose an image for your header. You may upload an image of your own or choose one from the Google Gallery. Just click and it will insert it. Notice that it adjusts the color if necessary to make the wording more readable. You may also find an image with search, which will find copyright-free pictures that are legal for you to use. Now you're ready to add your own content to your site. Check out the toolbar on the right for all the different ways to add to your site. But you may also just double-click in the white section below your header to add text, upload a file, insert from your drive, or use an embed code. When you enter text, you will see that your options are limited. You don't have many font styles or colors to choose from, but you can change the size and background color. You may duplicate your elements here and delete them with the trash can icon. If you have files on your computer that you want to add, just click the upload icon and choose. Drag it to change its location and size. You may also hyperlink text or images on your site. Just copy the URL of the site you want to link, then click on the image, click the link icon, and paste the URL. Now visitors to your site can click on the image to go to another site. To rearrange the elements on your site, just grab the tall row of dots on the far left and drag. To add more pages to your site, click on Pages and the plus at the bottom of the page, and then name your new page. Notice that as you add pages, their names show up on your site so that visitors can navigate to those pages. You may also add subpages under a page. For instance, maybe you want to have a separate page for reading and another for writing for your English class. Just click to the right of the English page and add subpage. You should also choose a different header image for each of your pages so that they represent what those pages are about. If you add something from your drive, it must be shared publicly or else it won't show up on your site. Let's say I add an art slideshow to my art page. I can see it fine, but if I look at my site from a guest account where I'm not logged into my own Pet K12 account, the slideshow doesn't show up. So I need to go back to my drive and share those slides. If I only share them within our school district, then my friends outside of Pet K-12 won't be able to see it. So I'm going to share it publicly. Now when I check my site without being logged in, the slides show up. Be careful of the Add Footer option at the bottom of your site. A footer is a part of a website that will show up on every page of your site. It's where you find basic contact information about the organization like you can see on the Kenilworth site. No matter what page we go to, we're going to see that same footer. You don't want a footer to have content that is supposed to be on just one page. So if you put something about math in your footer, it's going to show up on your history page, your art page, etc. If you accidentally add a footer, just click on Edit Footer and delete it. That will remove it from your other pages too. The toolbar on the right can also help with the layout of your site. If you want to have an image on the left and text on the right, just choose that layout and it will help your site look more professional. You can also insert a divider to break up the content on a page and insert any of these options from the list. You may also share your site with someone. If you want them to just look at it, give them viewing rights. But if you want to work on it together, make sure they have editing rights. Also make sure your link to your site is viewable to the audience you want to reach. If you leave it so that it is restricted to Petaluma schools, then people outside the Pet K-12 domain won't be able to see it. Change the link to public if you want to share your site outside of school. 
look to the top of the screen for your best friend, the Undo button, in case you make a mistake. And when your site is ready, click the Publish button and choose the URL for your site and make it available for others to see. Once you publish it, you should also click on View Published Site so you can make sure it looks the way you want. This is like the final proofreading you do before turning in an essay. Click the Preview button to see how your site will look on a phone, on a tablet, and on a larger screen. And finally, every time you make changes to your site, click Publish to make sure they are saved. There's a lot more you can do with Google Sites, but for now, you know enough to get started making your own.